I'm going through it. Okay? Through it. What's up, y'all? It's your girl Mo back with another video, and today we are starting a weekly vlog. It is Sunday. I'm getting ready to go to brunch with my girl Mariah. I'm out of breath right now because I am rushing like shit. Okay, um, before we get into the content, make sure you like and you subscribe, baby. Yeah, like I said, I'm rushing, so let me show you guys the fit really quick and what I'm wearing and what perfume I'm doing and yeah, 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 the details. Okay, so this is the outfit. I am wearing this a two-piece from Roof. I'll link it down below. And then I have this cream blazer on from Zara. These heels are from Aldo. And then my little Jacquemus bag i don't know Ooh, baby i'm feeling the fit this is like my first time looking at it all together and yeah i'm getting to it yeah and as for the fragrance i'm actually going to be wearing a floriental brown sugar by dossier so shout out to them for sponsoring your girl if you don't know about them they're basically a company that dupes all of these high-end perfumes like you guys have heard me say 50,000 11 times because i love them that much this scent um smells very grown a very fall very sexy very sweet but yet musky and mm, i don't know it's just giving me fall baby so i have a discount code with them i will put it on the screen everything will be linked down below but this is so good it's jasmine orange blossom brown sugar the base notes are amber and vanilla so mm, baby she smells good as hell yes dossier you did that with this one. Oh, accessories. I got these earrings from Pretty Little Thing a long, long time ago. JBW Watch, boom, boom, bow. So yeah, let's go. So we just got done eating. This is Mariah. I'll put her Instagram right here. Follow up at Big. Hey, everyone. Her body. Look at the. Wait, 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 where's she at? Yeah. Um, but we're about, to, we're about to take pictures right now. We're kind of like in the sunroom. This is the cutest shit ever, okay? If y'all are in Houston or y'all visit Houston, come here. Period, because it's so good. The food was good, the drinks was good, and the prices were like fairly reasonable. Like, it wasn't expensive either. Our meal was like $20 or $25, and then our drinks were like 10, pretty standard. So I'm gonna set y'all up while we take some pictures. The contrast of the brown, oh my god, like this? This is beautiful. Literally love it. fire. Are you stupid or crazy? Mario, I'm not. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Mooney, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna fuck your shit up. Uh, okay, okay. Like Mooney, pose like this. Come on, there. Yeah, yeah. I got yeah, yeah. you. Yes. Everything. Everything. Mariah. Like, let me just show you the quality. Let me just show you a preview. Oh my god. I can't. Like, this is I felt the need to make that into a song but i'm back from brunch i came home uploaded a video made a tiktok made an instagram reel and edited pictures so i was like really really productive today i still need to like meal prep go to the grocery store stuff like that but we're gonna do that tomorrow okay we're not gonna do anything else tonight besides make some din din the food place was the food place let's I actually use vocabulary, the restaurant, yes. Um, it was an Italian restaurant. It's located in the C Baldwin Hotel. And I had a really good time with Mariah. She is so cute. She's so like 
genuine and just loving and like, she's the cutest, she's the cutest. I met her through a mutual friend, uh, one of my best friends, uh, James. So shout out to you. <laughs> I don't think you watch my vlogs though, fake ass. But boys don't be watching vlogs. <laughs> Anyways, um, that was such a cute little experience. I just love Houston because it has aesthetically pleasing places and it's like yes you're going out to a restaurant but when you're going somewhere that looks cute it just makes the whole experience the dining experience that much better you know right now like i said i'm about to make some dinner and um we're making these little like potato things i don't know all my hispanic babes let me know what it's called down below but little back story my old co-worker i had to stay with him literally for like four days because we got snowed in at work and he was mexican and he made these like potato things or they were so good and i haven't made them in like over three years like i'm not even kidding and i had a dream the other night that he made them for me so i texted him i was like yo I hope I was like praying it was still his number. He's like, can you send me the recipe, please? And he sent it to me and just combination of his recipe plus memory. I was able to make them for me and Leah last night. I didn't vlog it because I was just chilling. Like I don't vlog every moment of my life. Okay, you know, I'm going to vlog it tonight, though. I have leftovers, so I'm not like starting starting from scratch, you know, so it's not going to be like a cooking segment. I'm just going to assemble it with you guys. It's not healthy whatsoever, but it's Sunday, girl. Okay. We we'll back on our grind tomorrow, so what's that right? But yeah, let me show y'all how I put this together. By the way, my hair, she lasted, okay? Okay! This so press, baby, I did that. And there was no humidity today. There was like a nice little breeze. I was like, okay, so it's silk press season because y'all know in my last vlog i wore my curls and i was like okay well i'm gonna wear my curls and child that was a lie i completely lied to you guys and most importantly i lied to myself because the no i was over the curls in three seconds literally there's a lot going on on your head when you have a full head of curls okay i saw <laughs> a swift of wind baby i felt it i said yep straightener to my head anywho let's get to cooking like i said about three minutes ago all right so last night i cut up some potatoes and just boiled them and mashed them so you kind of have like a mashed potato substance i didn't put anything else in them no you know seasoning sauces what have you and then i'm going to wrap them up and tortillas, yeah, yeah. By the way, Mexican food is literally my favorite food. Um, when someone's like, what do you wanna go eat? I'm like, Mexican food. <laughs> is that or Italian? Literally, but Mexican's my favorite, so. They literally went crazy with anything that they made. Tacos, enchiladas, tostadas, um, just anything, girl fire but yeah i'm literally just mashing it up this is kind of hot okay i can wait a little bit too long and then you're simply going to roll it up and immediately let me like move the camera here's my pan with some oil in it i don't know if it's hot enough yeah it's hot enough so just immediately put it in here because if you just like set them on the side, these tortillas be tearing. I don't have time for that. So I'm gonna let that cook for like a couple minutes. This is salsa that I made. While this is cooking, I'll tell you about the salsa. It's actually over here, right here in a blender. Girl, I made it from scratch, okay? Um, but I boiled a jalapeno, three tomatoes, two garlic cloves, a couple slices of onion and then took it out of the water put it in the blender right here with these little um chicken things two of these and that's the salsa that you put on top of it and it was so fire um i put it in this because i had to blend another one of those like seasoning things in there because i don't think i made it like salty enough last night um i had only put like one of those cubes so i just put two and i feel like it's gonna be better let's see let's see yeah that's way better way better with two dang i did not wrap it tight enough 
Okay, well this one's a fail. Do you see how it's tearing? I didn't wrap it tight enough. That's why. And I feel like the oil's not hot enough. So, give me just a second. I'm gonna redo one <laughs> and show you the correct way how they're supposed to look once it's done. All right, y'all. So this is how they're supposed to look. Um, little potato taquitos, all right. Crispy, girl, my mouth is watering right now. Let me get a knife real quick so I can put everything on them. So the first thing you do, oops, not me knocking over the camera, is put sour cream on them things. And you just, you know, however much you want. This is really hard because I'm trying not to hit the camera, but it's fine. We're gonna make do. Then I'm gonna use the queso fresco cheese, okay. And you just simply like crumble it up because it comes in a solid form. This cheese is so good. You know, I miss elotes. Like we had it really big back home in Seattle and I have not found any good places to sell elotes in Houston. So if you're a Houston hottie, let me know if you found some good elotes because your girl has failed to do so. Oh, I forgot to cut the lettuce. Hold on, hold on. Okay, so I got the lettuce. I'm just gonna put that on top like this. There we go. And then put the salsa on it. Like so. Oh shoot, it's a lot. That's fine, that's fine. It's okay. And then I'm gonna put this house house. Valentina? Yes. Yeah. Oh, girl, wanna tell you my mouth is watering. Yes, like a river, honey. Let's try her. Here she is. I have a hoodie on because I've been cold. I've been in Texas for nine months and forget what a little breeze felt like. Mmm. Boom. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's a banger. I'm gonna eat this. Watch you, which this season is trash. So far, love is just doing way too much, but I'm already invested, so I'm gonna do that. Enjoy my Sunday night, and I will see y'all when I see y'all during the week. Hey guys, so it is Wednesday. Today we're going to a Don Tolliver concert, okay? I decided this super, super last minute. I literally decided today because I have been listening to his album like literally on a daily, and I started being a fan when he dropped Heaven or Hell, like I think it was two years ago. He added a second show, the original one sold out. So I went ahead and bought some tickets. Well, one ticket because I'm going by myself because y'all know how I do, okay? I wanna go do something and I can't find nobody else to go do it with me, I'ma still do it. My makeup is so natural today, y'all. Like I literally put my foundation on with my fingers. I rubbed it in. Concealer, cream blush, and mascara. Um, I have nothing on my lids whatsoever, lip gloss, and that was it because I was not feeling a full face, baby, no. I think I'm honestly gonna put some jeans on. I have this bodysuit on from Fashion Nova, um, and I have these pants on from Zara, but I just feel like it's too, I don't know, it's not giving me concert vibes. It's giving me like din vibes, you feel me? So I think I'm gonna put some jeans on so it's a little bit more cash. The concert started at eight o'clock. I mean, the doors opened at eight and it's like 9, 10 right now. As soon as I get done getting dressed, I'm gonna call my Uber and go. Bia is opening up for him. If I'm not mistaken, I swear she is. I don't really care for her, honestly. I know one song, okay? And y'all know the song. It's a whole lot of money in the belly. That's about it. I don't really care if I miss her. To be honest. To be honest, you cute or whatever. Remember we used to do that? That's literally bringing me back PTSD, okay? I have these Fashion Nova jeans that I can wear. They're like light colored. I wish they had, actually I do have some distressed ones. Hold on. Let's see what this is looking like together. I got these from Pretty Little Thing a long, long time ago. I need to get new jeans, like solid, nice denim. And I know Good American has some really nice denim that fit well. They're just expensive. Oh my God. 
hundred dollars a pair. I'm like, yeah, that's a lot of money. I think this is gonna be more so the vibe. Hold on, let me go see. Let me put some heels on with it. Let me put some heels and see if I like it. I'm wearing the same Aldo heels that I wore on Sunday, which are actually very, very comfortable. They're literally the most comfortable heels I've ever purchased, if I didn't tell you guys that already. So shout out to Aldo. Okay, let me put some jewelry on. Because you know jewelry be jazzing up a super, super plain outfit. Let's see how... It'll look. Maybe a necklace. Maybe. I mean, I guess. I'm not really. I don't know. I really wish the denim were like a lighter wash. But I'm gonna wear this. I don't feel like changing again. Oh, also, I kind of didn't touch base on what I did Monday. I don't even remember what I did Tuesday. And earlier today, I was filming. Um, a day in the life of an influencer so that will be up if you guys are interested so that's why i didn't vlog and that's why y'all are seeing me today so let me finish getting ready and then i'll show you guys everything um yeah very simple i don't know she's she's cute like once you oops once you put on the accessories in the bag it's it's cash, but cute, okay? I decided to do like the side part today. Are we feeling it? I think so. I think so. I think she's cute, so. Y'all know, I'm not gonna bring my camera because they be tripping about cameras in a concert. So if I get any footage, it's gonna be on here. So yeah, I'll see you guys when I get there. Hey guys, it is, um, what is today? Thursday. It's Thursday and I'm about to go get a facial. I went to the gym this morning. I'm looking crazy. I feel terrible. Like I started my period yesterday and for whatever reason, my period is just really, really tough <laughs> this month. Like I'm having hot flashes, girl. I am um, fatigued, I'm nauseous, like, I'm just not feeling anything right now. So, my face has been breaking out, as you guys know. I mean, I'm on my period and my face always break out because I have hormonal acne, but I ran out of my products from my previous esthetician, which I do not like her at all, or that whole corporation. If you know, you know. I went on a whole tangent about it. So yeah, it's been probably about like, maybe a month and a half or so since I've had a facial and I started breaking out again, I ran out of products and I was like, yeah, it's just time. But the concert last night, cause I didn't check in with you guys afterwards, it was so good. Honestly, I didn't really um, know what to expect because he is an auto-tune artist and you just never know how that's gonna pan out in person live, you know? But his energy, the interaction with the crowd, the set, um, just the aesthetic of everything. Oh baby, I need some gas. Was great. It was it was literally such a good concert. I was on the balcony. Um, as you guys saw, like down, that was just a whole bunch. The general mission down there. I've already been and done that, baby. I didn't seen like literally over 50 artists. So I've done the whole like crowded, be in the front, right there where I can touch the artist. Like I'm over that, okay? Yeah, I got there literally right when he uh, came out. He came out to after party. Okay, I pull up, I the the butt. Don Tolliver is literally playing right now, 2 a.m. Little singing intermission. Afterwards, I went um, to a place called The Playground. And it was cool, but I'm just like, I don't know. I just need to stay my ass home because I just wasn't feeling it while I was there. I was like, I should've just went home, you know? But today, I just need to get this facial. I have to go home and edit a couple of videos. And then later on, I might go to Target. It just depends on how I'm feeling. Like my stomach is killing me right now. It's like, OD. Yeah, I just wanted to check in with you guys before I go to my appointment. Do you want me to just sit down? Yeah. 
probably for since I was in like eighth grade okay and then um, I did Accutane like in 2019 so a couple years ago okay and I was clear for maybe really like uh, seven months and then my acne came back and so I lived in Seattle and I moved here in January and I was going to um, I don't know if you've ever heard of Houston acne specialist yeah mm -hmm. I was going to them for maybe like the past four months and the products that were they were doing their job I just didn't like the way that they ran their corporation I didn't like the owner um, I just felt like it really wasn't specialized to me because whenever I went in there it was the same treatment every time and everybody else was getting the same treatment mm -hmm. it, was just, it was just kind of like they were giving you customized treatment plans as far as like products at home uh -huh. but I went there and it just wasn't feeling personal and I just didn't like the way that they, ah, this is just some, yeah, okay. I didn't like them. And I was giving them way too much money. Like, okay. it was hella expensive. Um, and then I ran out of products from them recently, and I haven't gotten a facial in maybe like two months. Okay. And so I found you, and we're here. Welcome. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, I have a all treatments are customized. Okay, cool. You may come and get the same treatment a few times in a row. Mm -hmm. You may not. Right. It really just depends on what your skin needs, how your skin speaks to me, honestly. Okay. What your skin tells me is how I perform. Right. Um, we do a lot of advanced treatments, okay. making sure, of course, home care is 80% of your routine. Mm -hmm. Home care is vital for your skin. Once you come in, the treatments, they may vary. We right. may do um, some acne treatments. We may do the cons acne treatments that consist of mild chemical peels. Mm -hmm. Some of them that consist of um, actual, like, facial enzyme treatments. Okay. We may get into doing um, DMK treatments, which are enzyme treatments that are really helping to penetrate um, and work up your cardiovascular system mm -hmm. to really help bring life back into your skin. Mm -hmm. um, of course, being that you were on Accutane before, it may be a thing where your skin is like really, really dry. Yeah, and yeah. so we have to work on building that moisture in your skin before we can really see the change of correcting scarring and mm -hmm. pigmentation and things like that. Okay. Pigmentation is really hard to lift when you're when the skin is not the moisture is not balanced enough in the skin. Okay. So we definitely have to work on that as well, making sure that you have enough moisture in your skin. So many things that play a role in your skin when it comes to the breakouts. Okay. I honestly have had probably about maybe about 15, almost 20 clients who have been on Accutane mm -hmm. that are still suffering with acne. Yeah. And then I know of a couple of people where it's, it was great for them and it worked and they hadn't had any issues. Some of them didn't complete the program. Some of them did. So you're here because obviously it didn't keep you, give you the long-term results. And that's what you're looking for, I can imagine, right? right. And so it's very important to know that Skin care is a process. Mm -hmm. It requires so many moving parts for you to be able to clear your skin and remain clear. Mm -hmm. Lifestyle, diet, everything plays a huge role.
My appointment went really, really well. As you can see, I spoke to Taylor during the consultation. I didn't film any of the actual services itself just because like it was really, really dark in there. She had it like, it was a whole vibe. It was so cute. As you can see, like she really takes her time to figure out what's triggering your acne, what your lifestyle is like and what's going to best help you get to clear skin. You know what I mean? And she just seemed like super genuine and I love that she's black owned because there's just a certain level of comfort that you have with someone who has the same um, skin type, you know what I mean? Dealing with your skin because there's certain things that our skin doesn't agree with, if you see what I'm saying, okay? She just did like a mask, extractions, um, and like some type of other treatment, LED light, that's what she did. And after that, y'all, when I tell you, I have been in so much pain with this period. I don't know why this period is like the worst that I've had in a very long time because it's my third day and I'm like still so bloated. I went to the gym this morning, had to cut my workout short because my cramps were going crazy. Like, baby, I'm going through it. Okay, through it. But I'm coming on here to talk to you guys right now because I just got out of the shower and I'm about to do my skincare routine. She gave me, of course, a whole bunch of new products that I spent a lot of money on. Y'all don't know how much, you don't know how much money I've spent on my skin. So if you have clear skin, baby, just praise God one time for me right now. Okay, okay. Um, so I'm gonna go through like my skincare routine with you guys. Well, my new one for the morning. At least, I've been listening to Wale's album all morning. He just dropped it today and it's so good. He makes top tier music and I just feel like he's so underrated. So this is my skin. Um, she did extractions, as you can see, they're kind of like scabbed up and yeah, discoloration. So, I don't know, like my skin was doing well and then all of a sudden I just broke out, so. Trials and tribulations of acne, honey. The first cleanser that I'm gonna use is the Face Reality Ultra Gentle Cleanser. All of my products are literally Face Reality, which I've used a long time ago with another esthetician. And I can't even, it wasn't like my whole routine didn't consist of Face Reality. It was just like one or two products, I think, so I can't really give you a full review, but we're going to see in a couple months, baby. So I'm going to wash her. Okay, so that was really, really gentle. It doesn't feel like it stripped my skin at all. It's like still pretty hydrated and then she gave me another cleanser which is a mandelic face wash so she wants me to double cleanse because i'm super active in the gym yada 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 so i'm gonna use a little bit of this this one smells like baby soap <laughs> i like that they're like foamy because i don't know cream cleansers are cool but it's just like the satisfaction of seeing the soap. Like you really feel like you're cleaning your skin, you know? Okay, so my face is double cleansed. It still feels like moisturized. It doesn't feel like strict or anything. And then I have these little globes that I purchased from her um, because everyone says like, oh, ice your pimples, you know, it's good for inflammation or whatever. I don't know, like the direct ice was just so harsh and it's just not as cute. Is this so I'm just cleaning this off with like alcohol to disinfect it oh Ooh, this feels good this was worth my money oh, bitch this is worth my money this is way better than ice I'm telling you they sell them on Amazon too she just had her own and I was like you know what I'm gonna support a black business and I'm gonna buy yours okay oh I love doing my skincare routine it's like I mean sometimes I'm hella lazy you know what I mean but like when I'm doing it, it's just such a relaxing time for me. Listening to music, girl, it's a vibe. It's a vibe, yeah. Now I'm gonna use the Face Reality Moisture Balance Toner. It's crazy how you can literally double cleanse and still have dirt, like that's insane. And then I'm gonna use the Hydro Balance Hydrating Gel 
moisturizer. Oh wait, <laughs> hold on, this is actually really, really soothing. My skin type is like super, super dry because I'm constantly using like acne medication, which dries your skin out. And naturally it's just on the dry side. So this actually feels really, really good. So I'm gonna use my Face Reality sunscreen, which I actually really, really like this sunscreen. I've used it before. And that is my skincare routine. I also have some benzoyl peroxide and mandelic, mandelic acid um, or serum that I use at night, but that's pretty much it. So hopefully within the next month or so, my skin goes back to normal. I'm gonna go get my nails done because this one is broken. It's been broken for a minute. Um, I'm gonna get the same exact thing, baby, okay? I've been getting this for like the past three months. That's just what it is. And then I need to go to Target because I was supposed to do that yesterday. And that was not feeling it, girl. I'll let you guys after I am done with my nails. Hey guys, I didn't go to Target. I actually cleaned out my car. After that, I went out to dinner, and then I'm about to go um, to a hookah bar with Leah. Just really chill vibes. I was like, mm, I'm not tired, so let's just go get some hookah. Let me do my lip liner real quick. Put some lip gloss on. I just wanted to show you guys the fit before I left and ended this vlog. Hey. Oh, let me put my earrings on. That's what was gonna like really jazz her up. Everything <laughs> is from what? Zara. I have this satin cami top on, which is really, really pretty. I love the way that it like, I don't know, flows with my body. It has a little lace detail. It's just super sexy. And then I have these black, um, kind of like textured legging slash pants that have a split. And then I have my black heels on and this is the side bag that I had in my Zara haul, which I didn't really like it with the chain. And then once I put the chain inside and just use it as a clutch, I just feel like, I don't know, it looks classier. Um, earrings are for Zara, JBW watch. So yeah, I'm gonna go have some hookah. I'm not bringing you guys because I just want to chill, honestly. And just relax and not worry about recording and you know, stuff like that. So I appreciate you guys for watching this weekly vlog make sure you like subscribe comment down below so we could talk girl if you made this to the end i really fuck with you i really do okay we friends okay anyways i love you guys and i'll see y'all in my next vlog deuces